and I've just put paper in so this is soap here so when I when I dip the soap into the um, water with the paper in it you'll see what happens oh. I'll do it. I, I really like this one this is a, a good one so I've put a, a funnel into a balloon and I'm gonna pour this uh, baking soda into it Daniel you can hold that for a sec I need to put vinegar in here. This is a lava lamp that I'm doing now. So, what I do is when I put this um, fizzy tablet in, the, the water on the bottom here should uh, mix up with the oil. Is it just water and oil? Uh, it's five drops of uh, red food colouring and uh, water oh, and just cool. some cooking oil. Oh. That's really good. And what's the tablet, do you know? Um, I can't remember, but it's really cool. Uh. Leonardo was also one of the most amazing and creative inventors ever to live. He filled hundreds of notebooks with, I notebooks with ideas for inventions reading from flying machines to armour tanks to shoes that could walk on water. Uh, I need some of his inventions. This is called Ornithopter. It's basically like a glider. Now, your, per now, one per now, your person would sit in, would lie in there so he could see out and there would be wee controls in the tube so that he could move. And it actually does work. Class. This is a parachute that I made. I got one of my toys and I uh, and I used a uh, dental floss and I uh, just tap uh, tied it up and attached it and it actually works. I tested uh, it. My mum helped me do this because it's a really difficult one. Um, if you look on the inside, it's actually a match box for the for the wheels. Secures the wheels in place. And does it move? Uh, yeah, 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 it does. These wee bits would be like if, like, it ran out of fuel or something. <coughs> they would get like, like, really strong men and they would help pull it by those bits. This is my dad's piccolo, and it's the highest instrument in the orchestra. And how do you play that? Well, it's a bit like the flute, but it's got a lot, like, you put one down, then there's three attacks. Well, I've made a model of the solar system with all the planets, and I can tell you a bit about it. The solar system has a collection of planets and moons with the sun at the centre. It contains nine planets and over 60 moons and a lot of other objects. The Sun contains 99% of all matter in the solar system. The planet Earth is the third planet from the Sun. The Earth is a huge ball of rock moving through space at nearly 3,000 metres per second. The Earth came from a huge cloud of gas and dust about 4,500 million years ago. 
a star exploded near the cloud and made the cloud spin. As the cloud spun, gases gathered in the sun, in the centre, and formed a sun. Do you enter my projects one? Um, where's my name from? There's a passport of my dad's um, grandpa. He was in the war. That's him. And that's the same. Thank you for listening. Do you have any questions? I chose to do my topic on NASA, Apollo 8, 11 and 13. NASA wanted to go to the moon because they wanted to show off to the Russians because they had sent the first man into space. Here he is. <coughs> so the Americans planned to be the first people on the moon and, say that, and they succeeded after three oh. tries. This one is a picture of Apollo, the ship. Apollo 11. This one is of Buzz Aldrin standing next to the American flag. This is the one of Apollo 8's lunar orbital plan profile. This is what they planned to do, like how, um, what route they were going to take. And this is um, what Apollo 8 looked like on the inside. And I've got a shuttle here that's the Saturn V. This is the ship that every um, Apollo was launched in because um, they fa um, failed in two of them. Uh, when they failed, they, um, they kept fixing it to try and do it again. And this is like the one I've got here. I